YTBC What's the Deal. So I was watching uh, ESPN First Take today, and it was they were talking about a video on fight hype of Floyd Mayweather saying that uh, he thinks Triple G and Manny Pacquiao's easy work, straight up and down, no special effects. We've been here with this topic before. Um, the news to me is pretty much not news, you know. Me as a fan personally, I've been talking about Floyd Mayweather possibly moving up and fighting at the middleweight division before YouTube, you know, and I can't prove that. But what I can prove is I've at least been talking about it since, let's see here, March 18th, 2011. This is my man, Joe Clem, and this is me. This is my uh, my first YouTube channel, and um, I'm going to just let you listen to this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue with this uh, non-topic to me. But before I get into it yet, the first time I had this discussion, it was me and my uncle. We were watching... Um, Damn, was it the Winky Wright and I believe it was Winky Wright, Jermaine Taylor. It was one of the Jermaine Taylor fights, Kasim Uma. It was somebody, man. Wright or Uma. And me and my uncle, did a, you know, the topic came up about Floyd possibly fighting, you know, Jermaine Taylor. Now, when Taylor was fighting, you know, I think he was going to fight Corey Spinks. Um, we were actually rooting for Spinks to win because we thought, man, you know, Spinks came from the welterweight. Maybe Floyd would just view that fight as more, you know, he can uh, challenge himself fighting Spinks. Spinks not a huge power puncher. We just thought, you know, we we're just thinking that that fight could happen. But we would discuss could Floyd Mayweather possibly move up and, uh, you know, beat Jermaine Taylor. It was a discussion we had, you know, but that was before me coming on YouTube. So I've always thought this dude has the ability. Now, some of you may say, hey, he's just human. He's a little guy. I understand that, but just for a one-fight deal, a one-shot deal, I'm not saying go and have a career at middleweight, but just a one-shot, one-fight deal, I think he could get it done. Um, especially, I thought he could get it done against Martinez, who ended up beating Martinez. Some of you may say, oh, he caught him at the right time when his knees were going. Okay, but the guy that beat Martinez was Cotto, a guy who Floyd beat, you know what I mean? So, And I know Styles make fights, but I thought that uh, Floyd Mayweather could have took that glory of dethroning Martinez, Martinez for the middleweight strap, but and at a full 160, not a 159 or any type of catch weight. But just listen to this. Mayweather, he's going to retire soon. I just want to see him do something great, man. You know, people say, oh, you just want to see him get hurt. It's like, you know, I don't want to see him get hurt no more. And I want to see Holyfield get hurt. Uh, you know, Mike Tyson. Floyd Mayweather, Sugar Ray Leonard, anybody in history, I don't want to see him get hurt. I just want to see him do something great before he calls it a day. And for guys who really, you know, uh, hold Mayweather in high regard, my thing is this. when Before he retires, you want to see him fight Amir Khan or challenge him for the middleweight title. And it's a fight that he can probably win. What are your thoughts on that? So I've been talking about this. And during this year, 2011, I was talking about him fighting Martinez <clears throat> at 154 or at 160. Because this one, Martinez said he'll go, I believe he said 154, but I wanted to see the fight then, you know. So I've always thought highly of this dude's skill because he has the ability to make guys miss. You can think what you want. You can slow the tape down. You can fast forward the tape. You can watch it in the dark. It doesn't matter. He makes guys miss. He makes some guys miss more than other guys, you know. Yes, I've seen the first Castillo fight. Yes, I've seen the first McDonough fight. Yes, I've seen the... Um, any other fight, I've seen it, man. Some fights I thought were really close, probably a draw. But with all that said, the majority of the guys that fight him, he make them miss. He finds a way to make them miss. Whether it's in the pocket or whether it's from long range, he makes you miss. That's what he's great at. Some guys are great at uh, their jab. Some guys have uh, the best footwork. They apply the best pressure. Okay, his thing is he makes you miss. Whether you like it or not, <clears throat> it is what it is. Deal with it. You know what I mean? But as far as this topic of him fighting Triple G or just fighting the middleweight period, I've been talking about this and it seems like it's never going to happen. I've been talking about this for going on, what, eight, seven, eight years now. So to me as an uploader, it's a non-topic. That's when I tell some of you knuckleheads I've been talking about him going to middleweight. It's not a Triple G thing. To me, it was always just wanting to see him at middleweight thing, just for a one-shot deal, not to build a whole career at middleweight. Just one fight, one night, 
I think he can do it, you know. But as far as him fighting Triple G, it'll fight. It's a fight. I think the uh, bed nods will probably favor Triple G. I don't think Floyd will go into this fight as a betting favorite. I believe, if I'm correct, the only fight he was a underdog, a betting underdog, was the uh, Corrales fight. Um, some people, for some reason, thought he was a betting. One guy thought he was a betting underdog against Canelo. I'm like, dude. <laughs> What are you talking about? Like, no, like the Guerreros, Canelos, Cotos, Floyd's always been the favorite. Even the De La Hoya fight was a favorite. I believe the only fight he wasn't a favorite was Corrales. Um, so this is a non topic to me. I've been talking about this, you know, so. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, I mean, just because I've been talking about it doesn't mean that I'm right. I mean, do you guys think that, hey, this is too much for Floyd. He shouldn't do it. Um, he's not getting enough credit if he does do it. I'm not with all that. To me, he's going to get credit when it when it go down to, when it go down in history and you look back, you're going to say, "Damn, he went the middleweight, damn," and beat Triple G or beat Martinez or beat whoever had the crown. He going to get credit for that. Now maybe the next day after the fight, guys on YouTube, but that this goes further than YouTube. You know what I mean? But it's a non-story to me. YTBC, I'm out.